What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Inventions. And yes, I'm still in my overalls. <laughs> so, I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing pretty good. And yes, I can see that the window in the back right there isn't the same as the window right there. So, I will have to change that. I hope everybody enjoyed the last episode, I really enjoyed all the support you guys gave me and thank you for all the help for telling me that uh, there's a mod that's blocking the villager trade, so I really don't know why they're actually here. Why did I take my time to protect people that don't help me? So yeah, it's kind of annoying for that. Uh, maybe, maybe market? Nah, there's, there's no market. Uh, trading station? Tradomato. Is that, is that something? Tradomat? I don't know what the Tradomat is for. A trade station? I don't know. But maybe, maybe something we'll be able to use to trade with these guys eventually. Or maybe it's just been totally deactivated. But I want to also say, if you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a lot with the channel, and, you know, it's appreciated. <laughs> Alright, guys. So today, uh, well, first let me show you a lot of uh, materials, a lot of things, a lot of stuff, and a lot of ores. Yes, 21 beautiful diamonds. And these guys I can't process yet. So, what I've been doing is pretty much just grabbing my things. Oh, I made a grindstone. Uh, so, I've got this little setup here. Uh, what I do is I mine a lot, I put it in the chest, and then I put the crank and I go AFK. Oh, there you go. I need to change the crank. Uh, the only problem is when you finish, like, it, there's a chance to break when you, uh, when there's nothing in there. So, yeah, it mostly breaks. But, yeah. Uh, there, there's like two zombies. Hey, buddy, stack outside. Oh, he's not despawning because he found an egg. Great. Uh, are we gonna get a chicken? Nope. <laughs> so yeah, the the only thing is I do want to mine, but it's really, really, really dangerous in here. Like when I go down, you see, there's a zombie just right there. So there's something called aroma. It's the mining dimension, and what's cool about the aroma dimension is there's no mobs. Yes, there is no mobs. Uh, I think you need a stick, stone pickaxe, flint and steel, and stone bricks. I did already smelt some stone. I uh, will need a little bit of stone brick after too. So let's make this. Boom. All right, so we've got that. Uh, flint and steel. I don't even have flint, huh? Yep, I don't have flint. Luckily, we've got roads made out of gravel. That, uh, I think there's one like that goes behind here. Yeah, but it's not in the village, so. We're just gonna, there you go, we've got flint. <laughs> that took three blocks. Uh, that's a good efficiency. Uh, yeah. So, let's get back into here. Let's make our flint and steel. Let's put it here. Oh, we don't have uh, sticks and things. Alright. So, you. Let's make the pickaxe at the top here. Two of these. One here. One there. And boom. So, that's what you need to make the portal. But you also need, so, four at the bottom, that's 16, there you go. So that's going to create our portal. Uh, I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah, that seems like a good spot. Uh, it's like a normal nether portal. Uh, I don't, I never remember if you can make them smaller. Uh, I always do the, like, the 3 by 2 hole. And then you take this guy, and boom, you right click on the inside, and then you go in, shift, and you'll get teleported to the uh, to the mining dimension. <coughs> so 
So here, uh, it looks like it's always sunny, but it's not. Uh, there's a beautiful little sheep that you can kill, get their goodies, so you stop eating bread. <laughs> uh, there's a mine shaft, there's caves. So yeah, there, there's a bunch of things and there is no monsters. That's what's important about this place. There is no monsters. So look, we're just gonna go underground, you'll see what I mean. Uh, we're going underground, some copper already, and of course it's the tiniest of the tiniest of the tiniest of caves. Can we see? Uh, oh, look, already a mine shaft. That's a mine shaft for people who don't know. So if you go three chunks in that direction, one chunk over here. Okay. Uh, I, I think I can manage. <sighs> I might have to go four chunks and three when I get out. So we'll go a one, two, three, four, then we turn, one, two, and three, and it was at the end of the chunk. About here, wow, hey, I'm really precise on the end of the chunks. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can get. If we can get into the mineshaft, that'd be cool. Uh, there's still spawners, though, so if you find spawners, they will spawn stuff. So you gotta be careful with that. Normally, they're about uh, level 30, so we still have uh, a little bit to go. I hope I'm in the right place. There you go. Mineshaft. So we've got a mineshaft. There's going to be... Oof. There's going to be chests in here. And you can grab the things. And what I love about this is you don't have to like, light up the whole thing to be sure to not have any spawns. You can just so roam freely into here. And... Oh, look, let's say I want some Sirtis. Well, you can find the Sirtis in peace and everything. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, one thing I do want to do, I do doodly do, is I want to get some Obsidian. Because we also need to go in the Nether. I don't just want to make one portal, I want to make two. So, let's grab that water and we had some lava just here in the corner oh, no, that was here uh right here okay so we're gonna go with some oh what uh and what we're gonna do we're gonna place the water here so it's gonna push us in the corner and we'll be able to break the obsidian oh it says harvest level three required level oh i don't have uh you really need a diamond pickaxe I didn't think about this. All right, so we do have the home command, but it's a different one. We need to stay in place for three seconds. So I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe. Let's make that little pickaxe. Uh, it, it's gonna take a while to to mine simply because you know it's obsidian. It takes a while to mine. Boom, and there we go. So now we've got a diamond. I think I can do back. But I'm not sure where it's going to take me. If it's where I died or no, okay. It does take me back to the right place. That's good. Okay, so oh yeah, now that the percentage is going up, that's a little bit better. Now it's going up. 90 boom. Alright, so I'm gonna mine I'm gonna mine all the things that I need. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when uh, when I've got everything. Alright guys, so I haven't been totally honest with you guys. Yeah, there's a reason in particular why I want to go to the nether. And it's to get soul sand and also ne uh, uh, oh. No, I can't talk today. No, I want to go to the nether because I want soul sand and glowstone. Because there is a mod that uses both these things to make amazing stuff. 
So let's just hope we don't end up in the middle of the void. Okay, we seem to be okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a wall behind on this side. There we go. All right. So, okay, first of all, we've got the glowstone right here. Then we'll just have to find a bunch of glowstone after that. Okay. Uh, a bunch of nether... <laughs> soul sand, soul sand, Kraken. It's not netherrack, soul sand. Okay, I, I, never, I never mine soul sand, so I'm like lost a little bit right now. That I actually need to. Well, need this big... Big sentence. It's a big word. You know, I don't really need it. Okay, so we've got more than a stack. That should be enough. Uh, I'll come back for the quartz. It's next to our portal. So this looks like a deadly plunge. <laughs> and it is. And it is. Uh, oops. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's put ourselves a little, you know, shiny beacon next to our portal. <laughs> New uh, portal. And there's a ghast probably like straight under us. That's not good. That's not good. Alright, let's see what we can find around here. I hope I can find some, uh, some soul sand pretty quick. The only thing is, I think it's a normal nether, so there's not a lot of soul sand. <laughs> it's weird not seeing like crazy generation, like from Bioma Plenty. It's really weird. Like, I'm not used to that. Oh, there we go. Soul sand. Uh, is there a place where I can go down without... Uh, Ah, there you go. That's the place. Grab some of that beautiful soul sand. About a stack will be enough, I think. I don't know exactly how much we need, but I think a stack is enough. Alright. Uh, we're 30 something. I guess we can just do slash home after. And it goes straight back to the base. Okay, so let me show you what you can do with soul, sta soul sand. Uh, you can smelt it and get Val dust. Alright, so let's try it. Home. Yeah, you can just teleport. That's a good. That's easier. <laughs> Alright, so we're back here. Uh, I think in this one I've got some... Uh, let, let's split it into here and there. And we'll get the vile dust. And with the glowstone, you can mix them together to get corrupted essence. Yeah. So, with the corrupted essence, you then need to do this. You'll understand why I'm doing all that in a, in a minute. Oh, I already had some. Okay. So, this in here, that there. So, you get the Soul Forge, which is powered by these, uh, these things that we just made to make the Soul Forge. They're powered by corrupted essence. So, let's put this guy here. So, it looks like a normal smeltery, but there's no recipe, and that's what freaked me out. I had to look it up online to find out how you, you make the recipes. So, again, we're going to do a little bit more. We're going to put that at the bottom, since it's the fuel. And then, we're going to take a block of iron. There's a couple of recipes you can do. There's uh, a block of iron... There's an ingot and there's a diamond, so we're probably going to do both. The only thing is it takes a while. I mean, I think it's 11 minutes to, to do one of the recipe. It takes 11 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it burn it 
and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done with uh, this one. I'm gonna need to feel it, uh, fuel it a little bit more because as you can see, it's going down. Yeah, so I'll bring you guys back. This thing takes forever. It takes 10 to make seven ingots of solium and if click R there's no recipe so if you want to know how to do it well that's how you do it so you put this and if you put an ingot I think you get uh, I think you get some uh, like nuggets I don't remember exactly how many but what's cool about what I just did is I think it's like some of the most OP tools you can make so of course we're gonna make the pickaxe the difference, 5 damage, 8 damage. Damage, yeah. So, also, I think I might want to go for the axe. Or the sword. Which is 10. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the tools first. Yeah, I think it's going to be better. So, I really don't know what they're like... The big deal is about these tools. So let's. Uh, oh, I've got one left. Let's make the shovel. Okay, let's make our shovel. Boom. So I've got this. Oh, well, it's not called a s shovel, it's called a spade. They look cool. I like the look of them. Yeah, I, li I like the design. It's pretty cool. So I hope they're pretty. Oh. Yeah, shift. I hope they're pretty good. Like, uh, I don't know if they can do a 3x3. Three three. I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think there's anything that does 3x3 three three in this pack. But if they do... No, they do a 1x1. One one. But it's pretty fast. So, I like it. Yeah, they do a 1x1. One one. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, this... So, it seems to be around the same speed as a diamond. Let's let's test, okay? Okay, now it's definitely definitely faster. So that means that if I put a good enchant on it, it would be pretty good. It would be pretty good. The only thing is, I don't have enough levels to do a good enchant. I've got the books and everything in the villages next to my base, so it's not a big problem to go get those. Uh, I just need the levels. Uh, and I won't get them by doing this. I need mobs, that's what I need. Alright, well I'm gonna try to get all the levels I need. And... I'll bring you guys back when I have them so we can see what we can get on these two tools. Uh, three tools. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I ended up remembering that when you mine quartz, you get a lot of levels. So, I ended up going and mine quartz. And I just saw that they implemented, well, I presume it's Exutura that puts the lapis thing, so that's even better. Oh, efficiency five. Flim flam and fortune. Ooh, that's going to be great. And that just took three levels. So what I should do is go back. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. Pretty much. The only thing I wish this guy would have uh, unbreaking, but it's not a big deal. It's not like I can't just you know, just uh, make another one. Like they have a lot of durability. And like they cost like uh, not even a diamond block, they just cost time. Uh, so yeah, l look at the experience when you mine this. It's pretty great, I must admit. It's pretty great, and now with this, I'm gonna make even more, uh, more quartz out of it because I was running with the diamond pickaxe. I wasn't using this one. Well, that fortune three uh, doesn't. Okay, there you go. Now you saw it kick in. So twenty eight. So yeah, I've been pretty much just doing this, running around, mining some quartz. It's the base, the basic thing. It looks like I'm doing vanilla work, but you know, it's not really vanilla work. It's it's with a modded pick. <laughs> 
And it, the pick looks amazing. I love the look of it. I don't know if there's like any pick that does a 3 by 3 I don't think there is. Uh, I was thinking maybe about the Dark Matter pick, but I don't think it does. Uh, Rudder Reborn. The Pickaxe. Single Blood. I think this one does it, but I don't remember how you get it. Uh, I presume it's like in one of the... Crafter, I think. Is there like a crafter in there? Or you need to find it? I guess I'll have to find out eventually. But yeah, so it would be nice to have a 3x3, three three, but eventually we'll just get the quarry. And they're, they're not that expensive. I checked it, uh, quarry. And uh, I, I can't actually make it already. So it isn't too bad. It's... The, the only thing I don't have... Well, actually, I do. I do have this. I just need to make a cutter, do the plates, and stuff like that. Uh, how come I can't craft a plate? Should be able with a hammer. Yeah, I just need to make a hammer, and I can make everything. So, it wouldn't be too bad for me to... Actually, I'm pretty sure next episode I'll make one. Just just to make sure we've got the materials and things. It's It's always nice to have a quarry going. Yeah, I think I think that would be a great idea. There you go, 31 levels. Let's get on like 33 so we can do like two engines at a time. That would be great. And get all the quartz. Quartz is important. Building out of quartz. I'd normally do that in vanilla. In modded, there's so many blocks that you don't really need to. I haven't angered a pigment yet, and I don't plan on doing so. Okay, we're at the part where we go down. So many pigments over there. Yeah, the, the nether isn't too much special. I would have wished, like, you know, something special in the nether. That would have been great. Like, just an addition to the vanilla that we get. Would have been nice. Uh, I actually found out that we have Dolly in the packs uh, from Jabba. So I'm probably going to get like a... Uh, I think it's a Blaze Spawners and just make a farm out of it. Or something. Maybe probably do a Soul Shard. Uh, since they, they just work if they're chunk loaded. So I could get like the experience from it. I think. Uh, do we have any Spike? We don't have Spike. Do we have... Uh, what do we have that could kill and give experience? I think the only thing would be... Uh, monster? No. Uh, not a Harvester, but the other one. A Grinder. Yeah, this guy. I think. I think that that's the one. Oh, there you go. 34 level. So, uh, let's let's mine the couple, of, the couple more we have here. Yeah. Just in case we don't come back. Well, well I'm probably going to come back. Okay. And also, when I go back, I'm probably going to have to be able to make the sword. Because I left the block over there to be smelted. Alright. Oh, there's more over there. There's always more. <laughs> That's what I love about quartz. You mine one, you find like 35. Well, maybe we need to to be level 36. Uh-oh. I need to be careful. I am not equipped to fight a ghast. Like, at all. I don't have a ranged weapon, and this is my armor, and I'm running out. Should probably do some, like, I don't know. Well, let's see what we can do. Chest plate. Is there, like, any material that are good? Ruby? I could do, like, an amethyst or ruby. That would work. Alright. So I think this would give me 36. There we go, 36 levels. So now we can go enchant a bunch. Alright, so let's do home. Oh, there we go. So while I do this, uh, as you can see it's there, I'm gonna put a diamond in there. And this will give me uh, the soul shards for trapping mobs and things. Alright. 
So let's. Uh, oh wow, I think I'm gonna need that. Uh, I'll put it here. Okay, so we're gonna grab two of you. Actually, it was one. And we'll make a sword out of it. Just six, ten. Yeah, that's worth it. And my tools go in there. Alright, so now three enchants. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. It's giving me the error that when you teleport. There you go. Now I'll get some experience. And some steak. So, do you guys like my uh, enchanting setup? <laughs> this isn't the prettiest, I must admit. It isn't the prettiest. Uh, Alright, so let's do the sword XP boost. Oof, that, that's that's good. Uh, let's see the axe sharpness. Okay, and the spade. Uh, let's do the efficiency. Okay, that's it. Soul stealer, of course. Oh, and smite, that's bad though. Fortune? Why would I want fortune? Gah, no, dang it. Stone Stealer is amazing for what we're gonna get over there. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, unbreaking this time? Okay, we'll get it. Efficiency auto smelting. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. That's bad. That's bad. That means that it's gonna, like, smelt our things. Like, if I go here and I, like, break this tree which should break super fast now yeah boom oh it just <coughs> oh sorry guys it just smelts one that's perfect that's perfect okay well it's it's all right we, we we're good we're good <laughs> so you guys i'm just gonna wait for this to be finished and i'm gonna show you what they can do all right, all right. So we've got the unbound soul shards. So what you do is you take one of these, you put them in here, and then you go kill the thing that you want to have. So for us is we need food. So we're going to go in the mining dimension and we're going to go... Oh, wait, I don't need to go there. I'm going to go kill that cow over there. The only thing is you need to kill a bunch of cows. So, the trick is to have a tier 5, which needs a thousand twenty-four souls, which is where this thing comes in handy. So, when you have it in your bar, you kill something, and it starts adding points. So, as you can see, it added 5, because normally it would add 1, and then it would simply, uh, it takes soul stealer 4, so it adds 4 more. So, what I'm going to do uh, between episodes is I'm going to go kill a bunch of things, add them into souls, soul shards, and, uh, well, next episode we'll be able to get some soul shard things going. Alright. But, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, next episode I won't, I will probably not have my overalls. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What you looking at? What you guys looking at? Yeah, walk away.